Empowering Hearts 2020 Trailblazers You think of single parents as they chose to break up. I didn't have a way of preparing for it or saving money. We used to have life insurance. So, the re you know, we had to cut back and that was one of the things that we cut back on. So when he passed, there was no life insurance. So that's when how are you, you going to do it? How are you going to, you know, get out of it? So, yeah. My life before SMO looked like me thinking that I was going to be happily married with one daughter and one daughter on the way and things didn't end up working out how I had planned. I decided to go back to school to earn my master's degree, which led me to an internship at Single Mothers Outreach. One of our core values uh, at Single Mothers Outreach is connect. We really look at it as how do we connect moms together because they're all struggling at different paces and when we can get them together in group therapy sessions, it really does allow them to feel like they're not alone, and that helps the healing process. I was doing some of their classes. They empower you to see exactly where you're at, how to cope. They're very helpful. One of our core values is grow. And actually, this is the one that speaks to me the most, because while I feel like I have empathy with most people, the grow piece really gets me excited because I feel like as human beings, we're kind of designed to continue to improve, continue to move forward. So when we talk about growing, a big part of that is you gotta get your financial situation figured out and get back to being a productive part of society. People at SMO have been so supportive of me and that has empowered me to be able to continue to move forward in my journey as a social worker, as a mother, They've planted that seed of courage in me and that confidence to know that I can accomplish the things that I want to accomplish. One of our core values is assist. And one of the ways we do this is through our retail shop, Closet on Main. They gave me a voucher to Closet on Main, and that's how I became a volunteer there. I was so grateful for what they gave me and wanted to give back to them. I now am the manager of Closet on Main. One of our core values at Single Mothers Outreach is Inspire. That's really kind of our opportunity to reward moms. And the big thing that we do throughout the year is the Make a Mother's Day event. It's really an afternoon to celebrate these moms. We're their last resort, and they're able to find hope here and courage and be able to leave our doors with a plan of action and what to do next. I'm committed to Single Mothers Outreach because I know we're making a true difference in the community, but we need your help, we need resources, we need money. What I'm really asking for is an ongoing commitment because when we put together a budget, when we put together our plan on how we're going to help families going forward, we really need commitments of two, three, four years. And you know, we really like $50, $100 a month because that allows us to plan a budget, that allows us to know how many families we can impact and help. And we can't do it without your help. I'm committed to Single Mothers Outreach because I know it impacts my community. And you should be committed to Single Mothers Outreach because it impacts your community. Donate now. A big thank you to Brian and Lindsay Schlick from Schlick Art Photography and Video for their ongoing support of Single Mothers Outreach and for always pouring their hearts into their work. My name 
is Kyle Duffy, and I will be your MC for the evening. I'm honored to welcome all of you to Empowering Hearts 2020, live at the Vance Wealth Building in Santa Clarita. Empowering Hearts is Single Mothers Outreach's signature event. All proceeds from sponsorships, ticket sales, and product sales support Single Mothers Outreach's mission, which is to provide support, resources, and most importantly, hope and dignity to single parents. There are several fun ways that you can offer support throughout the night. Make sure to visit our event page at one.bidpal.net slash empoweringhearts. From there, you can browse and bid on over 70 silent auction items, like the bed and breakfast set, tequila basket, and my favorite, the crockpot chili cook set. You can also make a direct donation using the Make a Donation button or support the beautiful models who have campaigned and raised funds on behalf of Single Mothers Outreach. They can be found by clicking the Support Our Models button. Models, we are beyond thankful for your support and community outreach efforts. Thank you. Finally, Click the Vote for the People's Choice Award button to view all of our artists' submissions and vote for your favorites. So, tonight, we celebrate the journeys of trailblazers, individuals leaving marks and creating a legacy for other generations to follow. We celebrate these trailblazers through art and word. Here is our lineup for the evening. First, we will hear from the Single Mothers Outreach board members and the Empowering Hearts co-chairs. Second, our honorees and artists will open their hearts and tell their stories. Third, we'll hear from two mothers who share their experiences and how Single Mothers Outreach changed their lives. Then, we will have a live performance from druggling extraordinaire, Ivan Passell. Finally, we will announce the People's Choice and Dottie Award winners before closing out the show. Joining us here tonight to celebrate these remarkable women is not only the executive director of Single Mothers Outreach, but a passionate woman that believes that all people should have the right to live with dignity. Please welcome Yorlaini Sapp. Hi everyone. My name is Yorlaini Sapp and I'm the executive director for Single Mothers Outreach and I wanted to personally welcome each one of you to Empowering Hearts 2020. As we are all trying to adjust and understand this new world of social distancing and remote climate, at SMO, we didn't want to miss an opportunity to keep connecting with our community. Going virtual was not an easy decision, especially because this is a new territory for most of us, but we didn't want to miss this opportunity to be in touch with all our Santa Clarita community. So thank you for being part of this adventure and of this new journey for us. In a world that is lost in madness and craziness, we should feel lucky to have the opportunity of having some joy in doing community and having the joy of giving, giving the gift of hope and giving the gift of healing. So I wanted to thank you for being part of this. Thank you for being here, for being there on your phones, on your screen, Thank you for helping Single Mothers Outreach. Thank you for trusting our organization. Thank you for supporting hundreds of moms and kids that you probably will never even get to know, but you're still impacting their lives. Empowering Hearts is Single Mothers Outreach signature fundraising event. And it is our hope that tonight you will enjoy inspiring stories of amazing women from this community, as also you enjoy the beautiful art that artists also from Santa Clarita have created representing those stories. And as you enjoy the night, get yourself a glass of wine, enjoy tonight, and remember that even though we cannot be sit down together, even though we are not close right now, together we could do positive change. Together we could raise some money to support more moms and kids in this community. Tonight doesn't really belong to me and that I don't want to keep talking. It really belongs to our honorees that you will meet pretty soon. But before that happens, 
I really want to introduce you to a person that I respect and admire, a father, a business advisor, a very successful businessman that even in his busiest schedule always find times to give back to his community. I am so proud to present our president of board of directors, John Vance. Thank you for the introduction, Yorleni, and thank you for those tuning in to our first virtual Empowering Hearts and our 10 year anniversary. I've been on the board and been involved with Single Mothers Outreach for over five years. And I joined Single Mothers Outreach because I truly believe that single parents are often left behind. They don't get the resources they need. And I wanted to join an organization that can make an impact in our community. And that's really what Single Mothers Outreach means to me. I feel that the way we serve our moms truly strengthens their family. And by strengthening their family, we strengthen our overall community. And that's really what the purpose, that's why I give my time, that's why we're all here to make a difference. I do wanna thank our sponsors this year, Tracy Hauser, Logix, Patty Narona, and all the supporters of Single Mothers Outreach, AMS Fulfillment, Tess Cox, and Mark Emmer. Thank you. We could not do this without you, and so I truly appreciate it. Additionally, I, I get to serve with a great board, people that are passionate about our organization, so I also wanna thank them. Martin Rodriguez, Jane Boutry, Laura Truce, John Everts, Shelly Jeffries, and Alex Schwartz. You're an amazing team. Uh, I'm looking forward to many more years of working with you. Here's a few videos from our board of directors. I hope you enjoy this event and thank you for all of your support. Hi, I'm Martin Rodriguez, past president and board member for Single Mothers Outreach. I've been with this amazing organization for going on more than 10 years now. And I'm often asked, you know, why am I involved? Why have I been here so long? What do I see in this, in this organization? Um, and I can tell you the list goes on and on. The reason I'm involved here, the reason I do this is because I see the impact it has um, on our families. I see the impact that it has on our community. And I have a lot of um, individual cases that I've seen where um, it's just made a huge difference. I've seen moms come to us from a, a place of despair where they're down and they're destitute and they have no hope and I've seen this, uh, this organization provide them the guidance to find the hope and re-engage in the community. Uh, there's nothing more powerful than that. I've seen moms that have had high debt load with no savings, not sure where they're gonna earn their next paycheck, be able to turn that corner, pay off debt, and start to create a small savings for their family. And that's what Single Mothers Outreach does. This mission is really based on getting families back into the community where they can thrive. I mean, let's face it, trying to parent even with, with a full two-person, you know, a two-parent uh, two household is difficult in this environment. But right now, with everything that's going on with COVID and, and this crazy year of 2020, um, a single-parent household is even that much more difficult to manage. And again, Single Mothers Outreach continues to step up to whatever the challenges are and help people find a safe haven, find a place where they can get some assistance to, to move forward again. Um, so again, you know, I encourage you to get involved with us. You know, I, those are some of my reasons, but I'm sure that if you get involved, you'll find your own reasons why you too will see that this is a great organization. I love the fact that it's a private organization making a difference because it's not a drain on our social and economic systems. It's not a drain on our government systems. Again, it's private enterprise. It's our community in Santa Clarita coming together to help members of our own community. And when you strengthen the mom, you strengthen a family, you strengthen our community. So please get involved with us, um, whether you're able to, to volunteer time, uh, donate, just help us get the word out, shop at the closet on Main Street, whatever you can do is always gonna be appreciated and we, we certainly encourage you to, to join us on this journey. Have a great day and thank you. My name is Laura Troost. I serve as board treasurer and have done so for nearly three years. I was the CPA for SMO for several years, and when my predecessor stepped down, I was asked to join the board. I got divorced in my 20s from a man with drug issues. My marriage left me the sole provider for my two children, financially strapped, exhausted, and with a lot of self-esteem issues. When I was introduced to SMO several years later, I felt immediate kinship to their message of empowerment 
and their philosophy of a hand up rather than a handout. I enjoy giving what I can to help families obtain hope and eventually the emotional and financial freedom that can be available to them after leaving a rough situation. Thank you so very much for attending our virtual Empowering Hearts event and for supporting this worthy organization. Hi everyone, welcome to Empowering Hearts 2020. My name is Shelley Jeffries and I became a part of the Single Mothers Outreach Board back in May, just a few short months ago. However, it was years ago when I first met your Lainey and I heard about Single Mothers Outreach that I knew it was an organization that I wanted to be a part of. I am so proud of what we represent and what we do for all the families here in the Valley. I too grew up with a single mom, so I understand firsthand what some of these families are experiencing. I'm so excited for what the future holds and I cannot wait to see everything that we do for all the families here in Santa Clarita Valley. Thank you to our beautiful board of directors. All of them are amazing and without them, we couldn't do what we do and what we love to do. Now I have the privilege and honor to introduce to two beautiful people, beautiful ladies that has worked a lot who deserve the credit of this night and that I have the privilege to call my friends, chair and co-chair of this event, Brooke and Tara. Thank you so much, Jeleni. My name is Brooke Edwards. I'm the chair of this year's Empowering Hearts 2020. It's really exciting this year. It's our 10 year anniversary. I've been lucky enough to go from artist in 2013 to the committee and now the chair. So it's really come full circle. It's been a lot of fun to work on. And I want to introduce you to the amazing co-chair right next to me. This could not have happened at all without her. Thank you, Brooke. My name is Tara White and I am the co-chair for this year's first ever virtual event for Empowering Hearts, and we are looking forward to a great evening. We couldn't have done it without our amazing Empowering Hearts committee, so we just want to say a special thank you. Also, a quick thank you to our sponsors, especially our title sponsor, Vance Wealth. Stay tuned for a quick commercial break, and Kyle will be back to introduce the artists and honorees. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon. I'm John Vance, president of Vance Wealth. We are a boutique wealth management and financial planning firm. We got into this business to help people. And you know that's what we get to do every day and that's what I'm passionate about. Helping others gives me a great satisfaction because we can see the look on their face when we make an impact in their life. And you know, so much of our core values as a company is to help others. And so yeah, we're focusing on the financial side of things, but that really actually allows us to help in so many different areas because when people are financially secure, a lot of other things in their life really function at a much healthier level. There are women in this community who have risen above difficult circumstances and selflessly opened pathways for others. They have not only improved their own lives, but enhanced the lives of those around them. Empowering Hearts brings the community together to celebrate these incredible women who have fought against adversity. Empowering Hearts bridges the worlds of social action and artistic expression by pairing inspirational women with inspiring artists in Santa Clarita. These local artists have depicted the moving stories of these trailblazers using their preferred art forms. It is the hope of Single Mothers Outreach that in portraying the impactful stories of these extraordinary women, that others may be inspired to rise above their own circumstances. Honorees are nominated by the community selected by the Empowering Hearts Committee, and paired with six Santa Clarita artists to tell their stories through art. As you hear their stories, don't forget to go to the website and vote for the People's Choice Award. Without further ado, here are our 2020 honorees and artists. Our first honoree of the evening is Cassandra Rivera. All mom's name is Cassandra Rivera. My mom was born in Boulder, Colorado, but she grew up in Valencia. She went to Valencia Valley, Placer Rita, and Valencia High School. The college my mom went to, Fresno State. At Fresno State, one day after leaving the library, a truck drove up into the campus and hit my mom. When she got stuck under the truck and dragged across the grass, she broke all her bones and was in a wheelchair for a long time. 
My mom was really strong, and she fought really hard to learn how to walk again. In 2018, I was having leg pains, and my mommy took me to the doctor. I got blood work done. And on October 13th, four days before my birthday, the doctor called and told me and my mom that I had cancer all over my body and in my blood. The cancer I have is called leukemia. My mom has been by my side and helped me fight cancer every day. Fighting cancer can be really hard, but my mom is really good at doing hard things. Cassandra was paired with painter Ashley Funicello. Ashley Funicello is a wife, mother, and self-taught artist. Before focusing on ceramic arts and portrait painting, Ashley dabbled in just about every medium before settling on her love of oil painting after being gifted her grandfather's much-used oil supplies upon his passing. The smell of oil paints and mineral spirits helps Ashley hold on to her grandpa's memory, so Ashley greatly treasures her time in front of an easel. Her work has been previously featured at the 2017 Empowering Hearts Gala, as well as at the Santa Paula Art Museum and the local Santa Clarita Artist Association Gallery in Newhall. Ashley has earned several valued awards and enjoys painting commissioned portraits for families. She loves painting family members during their golden years, as she loves capturing their life stories on canvases. On a typical day, Ashley can be found bouncing from one project to the next, leaving paintings strewn across the breakfast table, clay sprayed throughout the garage, and trails of sketchbooks in her wake. Oftentimes, this happens all within the same day, much to her very patient family's dismay but they support and love her nonetheless. Ashley is honored to participate in the Empowering Hearts event once again and is excited to show attendees how her honoree is a trailblazer in today's society. Our next honoree is Tabitha Jennings. Tabitha is a single mommy of two beautiful girls, Lily and Gracie. She was born and raised in Santa Clarita, where she attended Saugus High School and played competitive softball for many years. Real Life Church is a big part of her life, and she serves in their Celebrate Recovery Ministry weekly. Tabitha has experienced many obstacles in her journey through life. She was adopted at the young age of four. She is a survivor of domestic violence, and she went through a very challenging divorce. However, she uses those obstacles to help drive her passion for the field of social work and graduated with her master's degree in social work just last month. She then plans to earn her PPS credential and has big plans to help single mothers find stable housing. She loves working with people to help them overcome the challenges they face and to help them find hope when it seems as if all is lost. Tabitha lives her life with a motto she learned on the softball field from her favorite coach and mentor growing up. When you find yourself falling behind, it's not the time to give up. It's the time to dig down deep and fight harder and to always play with heart. These statements have taught her to have the strength and resilience to keep going, and it has shaped her into a true trailblazer. Tabitha is kind and has a gentle heart. She is compassionate, but also tough. To find the balance between being strong while holding on to her God-given womanhood is what makes her so special. She has persevered many adversities and overcome real fears. Being a good listener and willing to try and not being afraid to fail has contributed to her success and maturity. Her inner strength and faith are her foundation and that light guides her to be a shining pillar of hope for her girls 
and others. I love you, Tabitha. Tabitha was paired with artist and photographer Brielle Oakley. Brielle Oakley's father inspired her to become an artist. As an animator, Brielle witnessed her dad's creations firsthand and strived to create works of art that bring people just as much joy as her dad's animations do. She obtained a bachelor's degree in fine arts from California State University, Northridge, and found herself gravitating towards photography. Brielle is now the owner and photographer at Wild Pine Studios, where she mainly photographs weddings and does family portraits. She is drawn to photography because it gives her the ability to truly capture a moment in time in a person's life, which is incredibly powerful and meaningful to Brielle. Tabitha's story and resilience encouraged Brielle to create a unique piece that portrays strength and perseverance. Brielle has witnessed the struggles single mothers face as Brielle's father drowned when she was 11 years old, leaving Brielle, her mom, and her brother behind. In turn, the Single Mothers Outreach Program is near and dear to Brielle as she understands the trauma and struggles single mothers face. Brielle knows how pivotal it was for her to have support and help from the community in the wake of her father's death, and hopes the Empowering Hearts event can help single mothers like her own during difficult times. Our third honoree of the evening is Luz Garcia. Luz Garcia faced unexpected heartbreak when her husband, who was her childhood sweetheart, passed away suddenly, leaving her alone with six children. Luz, who was accustomed to being a stay-at-home mother, had to learn how to succeed in the workforce while raising her kids alone. After reaching out to the community, Luce was presented with the opportunity to become the store manager for Closet on Main, which is a boutique located in downtown New Hall that sells new and gently used upscale clothing. All proceeds from Closet on Main go towards supporting single mothers' outreach and the families they serve, which Luce loves. Even during the times Luce wasn't sure how she was going to support herself and her children, she remained emotionally strong and resilient to ensure her kids had a positive role model in their lives. She managed to pick up the pieces of her old life after her husband passed and create a new one with the help of her community. While Luce never imagined her life looking how it does, she is grateful she persevered and created a new path in life for herself and her children. Through her work at Closet on Main, Luce has been able to help the community and loves dedicating her spare time to assisting single mothers outreach. Luce was paired with painter Kirby Lanier. Kirby Lanier was fortunate enough to be able to attend two different art schools in Palm Beach, Florida. She was a visual arts major at both schools and spent six years between the two schools studying what she loves. Because Kirby took the road less traveled, she has had many opportunities she would have otherwise missed playing it safe in life. As a result of her risk-taking, Kirby has sold hundreds of paintings has been asked by numerous churches in Santa Clarita to prophetic paint in front of their congregations, and has been selected multiple times to be a part of the Empowering Hearts event. She is committed to changing people's lives with her art and has always wanted to make a contribution to society by creating and sculpting her talent into something invigorating. As Kirby paints, she puts her heart and soul into every stroke, as if her emotions are spilling onto the canvas and turning into beautiful colors. With every stroke, she sees a new path, a new direction. The God-given love that rests inside her plays a major role in her practice. Kirby doesn't paint for the fame or the glory. She paints to heal the hearts of others who cannot put their emotions and feelings into words. Our fourth honoree is Morgan Smith. Morgan Smith isn't a stranger to challenges. While she was in college, one of Morgan's close friends attempted suicide, which sent Morgan spiraling into her own pit of depression and self-doubt. After considering what was best for her and her future, Morgan decided to leave college and sought help from medical professionals. However, after discussing treatment options with various doctors, Morgan decided she wanted to try to heal herself without medications and doctor's interventions. While Morgan was on the path to recovery, she became pregnant. And after informing her child's father of the situation, she was informed that he did not want to be a part of the child's life. 
With a new sense of determination and motivation, Morgan went back to college after her son was born. She drove two hours a day to complete an ultrasound technologist program. And when she wasn't at school, she was at home with her son, raising him and studying for various examinations. Despite being a single working mother, Morgan graduated with honors and took the first job she could find after graduation. This led to a relocation first to San Jose and eventually Bakersfield. Morgan drove 93 miles one way for nearly two years to make ends meet and to obtain the experience needed to get a job closer to home. In 2019, Morgan secured a stable job as a county employee at Olive View Hospital. And in January of that same year, she bought her first home for herself and her son. While Morgan could have easily given up multiple times throughout her life, she persevered. And that is what makes Morgan Smith a trailblazer. Morgan was paired with photographer Tanaz Santos. Tanaz Santos discovered her life's passion when she was very young. At seven years old, she was intrigued by her father's camera and experimented with it by taking pictures of the world around her. Tanaz's parents immediately nurtured her artistic devotion and hired a professional photographer to teach Tanaz photography and help her create her own darkroom. That was the beginning of the endless amounts of photo shoots Tanaz would make throughout her lifetime. Tanaz loved seeing her friends and family members' amazement and appreciation for their portraits, and their reactions to Tanaz's photographs are what have encouraged and inspired her to continue along this path. After moving to the United States from Iran, Tanaz attended Pasadena City College and studied photography. She was given a scholarship for her portrait of her father-in-law. After graduating, Tanaz became a freelance photographer for product as well as people. After freelancing for a few years, Tanaz decided to start her own business, Photos by Tanaz. She feels fortunate to have turned her passion into a career. Tanaz's three sons, Marcus, Miles, and Milo, are her inspiration and models when Tanaz wants to try new photography techniques. When her third son was born, Tanaz realized how much she loves fine art portraits, and this has become her current focus. She enjoys capturing the beauty and innocence of childhood, and as a mother herself, she knows how precious it is to have beautiful, timeless family pictures. Seeing her final results brings so much joy to Tanaz, and when her clients love their pictures, it is the cherry on top for Tanaz's sense of accomplishment. Our fifth honoree is Sandra Mariscal. The minute Sandy found out she was going to be a mother, she changed her entire life. She took parenting classes so her children wouldn't endure the same abusive parenting style Sandy experienced growing up. She bought a house at the age of 19 so her children would grow up with a roof over their heads. She married her children's father because she wanted her children to grow up with both parents living together. However, Sandy couldn't predict what the future held for her and her family, and she found herself becoming a single mother of two young children. Not letting the end of a relationship upend her life, Sandy did what she had to do to make sure her children were safe, happy, and healthy. Once her children were of elementary school age, Sandy went back to school and obtained her associate's degree. While she has plans to obtain a bachelor's degree, she has been unable to complete the necessary classes at the time due to her son's special needs. Sandy found a great job at an insurance agency and met Patty Nerona, who became a great friend and mentor. Patty paid for Sandy to get licensed as an insurance salesperson. And with said license and her job, Sandy has been able to provide a better life for herself and her children. Looking back at her life, Sandy feels incredibly proud of all the things she has accomplished. Many nights she spent crying, unaware of what the future would hold. But instead of giving up, Sandy kept going with the help of God, her friends, and a supportive community. I know if it weren't for my mother's love and hard work, I wouldn't be where I am today. I thank her for always being there for us and for being a beacon of light that shines on us. Mom, thank you for everything. I know it wasn't easy raising us both. By the grace of God and your provider mentality, my sister and I grew up happy and healthy. Sandra was paired with painter Azam Aurelian. 
Azam Aurelian was born in Iran and has lived in Southern California since 1977. Her extensive experience in a broad range of mediums is led by her passion for painting and sculpture. Azam is an art educator with a master's degree in art education, as well as a certified practitioner in NLP, therapeutic imagery, and in social emotional arts. She has had her artwork featured in various galleries throughout California, as well as in Oregon and Florida, and some of her works are included in private collections around the world. Azam is a member of the Los Angeles Artists Association, Southern California Women Caucus for the Arts, and Women Painters West. She is represented by the Fabric Project Gallery LA. Azam has shared her passion for expressive arts with students of all ages and diversities for over three decades. As a firm believer in the therapeutic aspects of art, Azam uses the creative process as a tool for healing. Azam's art is inspired by nature, where she is pulled into experiencing every curve, movement, texture, and fragrance by being present in any moment. She paints intuitively and captures the essence of light and positive energy of her experiences. All of her work is created from the heart, and it is her goal to touch the lives of everyone who views her artwork, as well as bring them joy and transcend them to a moment that is beyond this world. Our sixth honoree is Nola Aronson. Nola Aronson was determined to change the world for the better at a young age. She fell in love with helping children and people less fortunate than herself and has made a difference in hundreds of lives. Nola holds a bachelor's degree in special education as well as a master's degree in audiology. She has certifications of clinical competence from the American Hearing and Speech Association and the American Academy of Audiology. Nola is licensed by the state of California in audiology and hearing aid dispensing and currently owns and works at Advanced Audiology. In 1986, Nola divorced from her husband and began the tiring, difficult journey of being a single mother to a six-year-old son. In April 2000, Nola received devastating news that she had breast cancer and had to undergo eight months of chemotherapy in conjunction with eight weeks of radiation. Instead of feeling defeated, Nola became more determined than ever. She volunteered at her son's school, helped him with his homework, and took one day off work a week as an audiologist to complete her chemotherapy and radiation treatments. Nola is now a 20-year breast cancer survivor and donates 10% of her company's hearing aid sales and donations to a variety of nonprofits each month. She also volunteers for a multitude of other nonprofits such as Circle of Hope, the Michael Hoffman Foundation, the Alzheimer's Association, the Boys and Girls Club, and many more. Nola strives to help others hear better so they can experience fulfilling social lives and enhance their communication skills. Nola was paired with digital artist James Loken. James Loken is known for his creativity, generosity, and caring nature. He has provided competent, trustworthy advice for 20 years as a financial advisor. James also helped found, and until recently, served as the president of the board of the North Hollywood Home Alliance. This nonprofit was recognized as one of California's best nonprofits in 2019 for its work with the homeless population. Jim currently serves as president of the board of the Trauma Resource Institute in Claremont, California which trains community members and therapists to help victims of trauma build resiliency and strength. Jim and his wife of 41 years, Dr. Elizabeth Loken, sing in their church choir, love to dance, travel, and spend time with friends and family members. Jim and Elizabeth have two daughters, Julia, who is a stand-up comedian living in Hollywood, and Siri, who is a third-year medical student at UC Irvine Medical School. Jim has degrees in religion and history from St. Olaf College and Luther Theological Seminary. He served as a Lutheran pastor for 18 years prior to becoming a wealth advisor. 
As an artist, Jim has written poems and stories, acted on stage, and done voiceover work, takes thousands of photos each year, and enjoys writing and performing songs. Jim studied watercolor painting at the Minneapolis College of Art and Design, but stopped painting after having children. About five years ago, Jim found an iPad tool called Procreate and started drafting plain doodles during his monthly work trips. It was one of those doodles that helped create the portrait of Nola Aronson for the Empowering Hearts Gala. In the past, Jim has been an artist sponsor for Empowering Hearts and was honored to create a piece this year. He wants his piece to honor Nola for her great resilience, generosity, strength, and leadership, and hopes such qualities shine through to viewers. We believe that everyone deserves a plan. Regardless of where you're starting from or how confident you feel about finances, we offer solutions and coaching that meet a variety of individual needs, from assisting with specific questions to providing ongoing guidance to help you reach your personal version of success with confidence. Every day, women walk through our door at Single Mothers Outreach after receiving an eviction notice, leaving an abuser, or buckling under the stress of parenting alone. COVID-19 has compounded this as single parents have to educate their kids from home while going out to work their jobs, if they have jobs. It's a juggling act that is impossible. Single Mothers Outreach is the helping hand that points parents in the right direction and gives them the resources they need to serve their families. It is my honor to introduce to all of you, Mothers Jessica and Diana. Hi, my name is Jessica. I am a mom of two. I have a seven-year-old and a two-year-old. And I am just gonna tell you my, my experience and my journey and how Single Mothers Outreach has always been there to support me and help me thrive and reach my goals. So about two years ago, I left Ventura County. That's where I was living. I was in an abusive relationship with my ex-husband. Um, it was pretty bad. I came here um, basically with a fresh start, starting my life all over with two daughters. At the time, my two-year-old my two-year-old was only two months old and um, I had nothing. I had no money. I had no job. I had no car. I was homeless. So I, um, I found out about Single Mothers Out Outreach through the domestic violence program and that's when everything changed. I first signed up for um, the, finan the financial university workshop and that's where something just activated and clicked within me and I was able to learn how to save money and eventually have my own car and then now I have in my own apartment and I was motivated to go to college and I because of single mothers outreach I just graduated in June with my associate's degree I am a sociology major and I been accepted to Cal State Bakersfield and I'm just so excited. Without Single Mothers Outreach help and support, I know I would not have been able to finish my associate's degree in two years, find employment, and just finally be at a place where I know I can, I can um, be financially stable and I'm just so excited and for my future and I just want to thank Single Mothers Outreach. Just thank you. Thank you, the donors. Thank you, everybody from Single Mothers Outreach. And just thank you to my community. I couldn't do it, do it without you guys. Thank you. Hello, Single Mothers Outreach donors and community alike. I became a member with Single Mothers Outreach in 2018. Uh, basically, I found out that I was going to need to support my daughter all by myself. They empowered me. They provided hope. They provided connectedness. I could only afford this one bedroom, and that means that there's no extra money to pay for extra things like gifts for my daughter and um, toys for her. And so there's many, many things that have gone in through SMO. I'm talking about books, backpacks for school, you know, um, homeschooling too now with the pandemic. Um, 
you know, pencils and erasers and notebooks and coloring books and crayons. I've been able to get clothing from Shop the Closet that has helped me tremendously. I am no longer in the red when it comes to my um, a, a bank account. I used to be before SMO, I used to be in the negative. I used to be struggling, like really um, scratching, you know, just to stay afloat. And, and it's all because of you, of all your donations, of all your support. I mean, I am one little family. It's just me and my daughter and who you are ha tremendously helping. Let me tell you, when I first started SMO, I was a college student at College of the Canyons. I have now graduated with three associates one in political science and communications and sociology. I am now enrolled at CSUN and I'm going for my bachelor's. All of this is not possible because of your organization. You guys literally have helped me heal. So I wanna thank you all for the gifts, just the priceless information, the support, the donations. Every Christmas, you know what? I get to participate and be a part of the community in that. I get to actually see my daughter open presents. There's no way, let me tell you, I would be able to do that if it wasn't for you all. So I really, from the sincerity of the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for just giving to this organization. What they say on their website they're doing, they really are doing. My name is Jarlene Saab, and I'm the Executive Director for Single Mothers Outreach. I oversee our operations and Closer on Main also. The story behind Closer on Main is a story of finances, it's a story of very proactive board, and it's a story of people listening and looking for a community that has some needs. Single Mothers Outreach is a beautiful nonprofit that was born in 1995. So they start thinking about a place that could have great deals, that also could work for our moms, not only to provide for the kids, but also this is a place where moms could come and get outfits to go for a job interview for free. We have a saying and we want a day to chop with dignity. And the, the fact that they are single moms and with a low income situation, it didn't have to be even harder by just going through boxes and stuff. It's nice for them to come here and go through the racks and they chop for free. It's part of one of our programs called Chop the Closet. My name is Luz and I'm the store manager of Closet on Me. I became a widow and I was looking for some type of help from Single Mothers Outreach and that's how they gave me a voucher and I was introduced to Closet on Main. I was so grateful that I wanted to give back to the community and started volunteering here. And things progressed, volunteering, and now I'm store manager. I was just blown away, amazed by, you know, the generosity. Our mission statement talks a lot about empowering. And what we want is to make people to understand that there is still hope. We help them to get jobs. And part of that is also to bring them here and find an outfit so that they could present well for a job interview. Single Mothers Outreach empowered single parents and their children by providing hope and support so that they could become self-sustained and thrive. 100% of everything that you see here is donated by this community. A great way for the community to help us is by donating. It's a place where you're gonna find amazing prices, beautiful people, and you will always, always, always get out there with something. You will find a treasure all the time that you come here. Come and check it out. I can assure you that you will find something beautiful and your experience is going to be memorable. Single Mothers Outreach is committed to empowering single parents and their children by providing support, resources, and hope so that families can become self-sustaining and thrive. Tonight is about supporting the mission of Single Mothers Outreach. What Single Mothers Outreach does matters. It matters to women like Jessica and Diana who needed a friend to remind them that they can find hope, that they can create a better reality for their families. Please visit one.bidpal.net slash empowering hearts and donate now. Your donation goes directly to financing programs such as Needed Therapy, Career Development, and Finance Peace University so that single parents can build a better future. 
Hi, Tracy Hauser here with Compass. I'm here to tell you a little bit about myself and our team. For the last 34 years, we have been helping families and individuals both buy and sell properties. Most of the time, this is a happy event and very exciting time in life. Other times, there's been a life triggering event, such as downsizing a parent, a divorce, a death in the family, and it's not so much fun to buy and sell a property. My team and I are very highly skilled in all the technical aspects of real estate, and we excel at personal care, taking care of our clients through sometimes very hard times. If you're looking for an agent that works from a relationship base, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. It wouldn't be an Empowering Hearts event without entertainment. Our entertainer this evening is a nine-time world champion juggler and a man after my own heart. You've seen him on Comedy Central, America's Got Talent, and The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. I was talking to him earlier, and he doesn't like to brag, but he's got over 200 friends on Facebook. Please welcome, live from his living room in Valencia, Ivan Passell. What's up, everybody? My name is Ivan Passell. Uh, Kyle, thank you so much for that intro. I'm still waiting for you to accept my friend request. Uh, it is my honor to be here performing for Empowering Hearts this evening. Unfortunately, I can't physically be there in person due to the COVID outbreak and my recent stay-at-home house arrest order, but that's not important right now. Look, guys, we've all been in quarantine for like six months now. Now, I don't know about you, but I've taken this opportunity to better myself, to learn some skills that I didn't previously know. For instance, I've never been a great cook, but I took this opportunity to learn how to make some new and exciting exotic cuisine. It looks pretty yummy. You know, a lot of people grew a pretty awesome quarantine beard, and I, uh, I, I didn't. This is, a, this is a clip on. Pops right up after the show. I still think it's pretty sweet. I also learned some new juggling tricks, all right? So right now, I'm going to start out this portion of the evening by taking one of these three red balls, throwing it into the air, and catching it at a dead stop on my forehead. What do you think? Would that be amazing? Probably really don't care to either. Just like, yeah, go ahead, juggle boy. Dance, monkey! <laughs> it's, 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 just, it's just this for 45 more minutes. I just do this till you all log off. It's real awkward and people hate it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> It'd be a whole different show. <laughs> And now I'd like to present a trick that I've entitled Three Months in Quarantine. Thank you. Apparently it was three months well spent. And this one I call Six Months in Quarantine. Hey, hello ladies, hello. Now, uh, I don't know if you're all aware of this, but this is actually a standard sobriety test here in California. So, good luck in really cracking down. And now, here's a trick for all of you bondage enthusiasts. <laughs> all right, I found my people. Now, if you look carefully, you'll notice the truly amazing thing about this trick. Notice how the hair doesn't move. All right, thank you very much. Well, hey, we're here for Empowering Hearts. I'm going to do something thrilling and exciting for you. You guys ready for this? You're gonna love, love this! <laughs> not, not this, I just had to get this out of the way. I've got some trees I have to trim tomorrow. That's so dangerous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna juggle these. They're plastic and they won't hurt me and not against my parole. And so right now I'm gonna share with you guys a trick that I actually used to win my last World Juggling Championship. Uh, I also performed this trick on the very first season of America's Got Talent. I didn't win America's Got Talent. That's uh, why I'm doing shows in my living room. <laughs> I'm just serious. And so what I'm going to attempt to do right now is balance one of these three clubs on my forehead, drop it back behind myself, kick it back up over my head, and resume a basic juggling pattern. 
Now, typically in my shows, I perform this trick using three flaming torches, but unfortunately, I'm no longer allowed to perform that. <laughs> Since the trial. <laughs> All right, first off, here's a brand new trick I've been working on all week at home, which is difficult because I live in my car. Ladies, it's, uh, it's cool though, I, I have a sunroof. That's so why that joke's funny. All right, check this out. What? All right, here we go. This is so weird, I keep having this reoccurring dream when I'm doing this trick. A unicorn comes up and tries to mix with me. All right, thank you guys very much. Well, hey, we're coming to the end of my set, and before I go, I just want to say a sincere thank you to Empowering Hearts for having me. Thank you very much to Brooke. Tara and your Lenny uh, for putting on an awesome, awesome event. Uh, I hope I can actually come back and perform for you guys next year in person. But I'm gonna end my set right now. Um, you know, typically people come up to me after my shows and they'll ask me if I play sports. Now the truth is, uh, I like sports. I've just never been very good at them. So I was talking to this guy in my alien abduction support group and he was like, hey, <laughs> why don't you try tennis? And so I went to my local tennis club, and this is what I did. dog crazy. Thank you so much for that incredible performance, Ivan Passell. Fun fact, we're trying to raise the same amount of money as the circumference of one of Ivan's biceps. So, cast your last votes for People's Choice Award now as we introduce our Dottie Award winner. The Dottie Award is named after one of Single Mother's Outreach's strongest and longest supporters, Dorothy Smith. All of the art was juried by selected judges in the community, and their pick for the Dottie Award is... Hold on a second. It's right here, hold on. Um, all right, it's a, a physical friendship request from Ivan. Oh. <laughs> Well, thanks, Ivan. I accept your request. Uh, anyway, our winner is Tanaz Santos. So a uh, clap at home. So now it's time to announce the People's Choice Award. This award is as the name implies. You, the people, have listened to the heart-touching stories of our artists and honorees and you've seen the beautiful art depicting these stories, and you have donated in support. So, the 2020 People's Choice Award goes to...
James Loken. Now, we would love to bring up our artists and honorees to wave and say hello before we end our program. So they're lining up now. I know for a live show, this is great. First, I would like to introduce Tabitha. Just come up and say hello. It's that simple, just wave. Hi. That's Tabitha, everyone. <laughs> next, yeah, fine, let's clap, why not? Uh, next, I would love to introduce artist Brielle. Hello, thank you. She's a real person, everyone. Next, honoree, Luce. Sorry, it's a long walk, everyone. Hello, welcome. Artist, Kirby. Hi, Kirby. Kirby is well known in the community. Honoree Morgan. Morgan's the only one that's actually not real. <laughs> Next up, artist Tanaz. Honoree Sandy. So, uh, honoree, Nola Aronson. Nola is also a fan favorite. If you didn't hear it, Nola says thank you. As we wrap up our show, Single Mothers Outreach would like to extend an incredible thank you to all of our sponsors, our models, our artists and honorees, our mothers, everyone working behind the scenes to make this event happen, and most importantly, to all of you connected with us digitally this evening. It's incredible we have this technology to work with. And a very special thank you to the Santa Clarita Magazine. We want to recognize all they do in the community and for their amazing support for Empowering Hearts. And a final thank you goes out to Corin Young at Video Bump for producing this virtual event for us. Without him, this wouldn't have been possible. So we look forward to seeing you all again in person or virtually. Together, we can generate positive change in a world that has been hit by insurmountable challenges. Thank you. Empowering Hearts 2021 Survivor <laughs>